Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your 10-minute add-on abdominal workout. What you're going to need today is a mat and one dumbbell. Now, I have two. I'm just going to switch from a heavier dumbbell to a lighter dumbbell if and when needed. All right, y'all, so this is an add-on abdominal workout, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that you are already warmed up because we're adding this at the end of our workout. Uh, today's format, we have seven exercises. Every exercise will be 75 seconds on and 12 seconds off. Why 12? Because those seven exercises with 12 will put us at 9.57 for our total workout time, which is just shy of 10 minutes long. During our recovery, I'm gonna demo the upcoming exercise, but it's gonna be super quick, y'all. Less than 10 minutes, so go ahead and get into position. I'll demo the first exercise, grabbing my heavier dumbbell, uh, body weight only. Excellent option for every exercise when we have a dumbbell. So place that dumbbell on the chest. Now, and low back is pressing into the mat as well. From here, as we exhale, we bring it up. <sighs> Two count pause at the top, control it on the way down. So really squeeze your abdominals, transverse abdominal engage, drawing up and in towards that spine, and then control it on the way down. 75 seconds, we go in three, two, and one, let's go. <sighs> exhale, engage, hold, release. So try to hold through that two count, and then bring it down. I'll keep talking to minimum today, so let's just keep going. Last three, two, and one. All right, I'm switching dumbbells to a lighter one. We have reverse crunches. So place that dumbbell in between the feet. Feet are holding onto it. We bring it in. Three, two, one, as we lower. Let's go, reverse crunches. Engage when the knees come in. Hold the engagement as we bring it down nice and slow. Bring it in. Three, two, one, tap. This will also help strengthen your hip flexors, but if you need to, you can always just do body weight. Three, two, and one. All right, I'm going back to my heavy dumbbell. We have double crunches. Move that out of the way. So hands go overhead. We bring it up. We control it down. Three, two, one on the way down. Two count pause at the top. Let's go. We're halfway through. My abs are on fire. Short, controlled, 
range of motion. Exhale, engage that transverse abdominal even more. Work in the lat muscles a little too. One. All right, next exercise, body weight only. Three bicycles on the third one we hold. So it's three, two, hold for two. And then we do the other side. Let's go. Three, two, hold. Three, two, hold. You got it. This little twisting motion is going to hit those obliques as well as the abs. Just do your best. Three, two, and goodness. Half get ups, one to a quarter rep. Right knee is bent, right hand has the dumbbell. Left arm goes out to the side. First move, shift the weight into the left hand. We bring it all the way up. Quarter of the way down, all the way up, all the way down. Let's go. All the way up, quarter of the way down, all the way up. Control it on the way down. So our first move is we shift the weight into the left hand. That's gonna hit that left oblique a little bit more. Abs are on fire. Try to keep your wrist stacked over the shoulder. Use that left hand to help guide yourself down as well. Three, two, and one. Other side, half get up on the other side. Right arm goes out to the side, left hand, or left hand has the dumbbell, left knee is bent. First move, shift the weight into the right hand. It's gonna target the right oblique as well. Let's go, shift, we go up, control, control, control. Use the right hand to help guide yourself down as well. We gotta add that quarter rep. This side's a little bit more challenging for me. Oh, we got 20 seconds. Three, two, control it down, and one. Final exercise, we got Russian twist. Set that dumbbell on the chest. 
slight lean back, engage your transverse abdominal, that corset muscle. We rotate side to side. Let's go. It's three, two, pause, just like the bicycles. Three, two, pause. Three, two, hold. Keep that deep core layer engaged as we twist. Abs stay tight. This is it. Final exercise. Thirty seconds. And one. Nice work. And just like that, in under 10 minutes, we hit those abs pretty hard. Front of the abs. Nice work. Obliques a little as well. Go ahead and give yourself a few rolls up. Stretching is going to be super quick because this was a little add on workout. So we're just going to stretch out the abs. Then we're done. Cross at the ankles. Bring it on forward. Quadruped position. Inhale, belly down, gaze up. X around the spine, chin to chest. Let's do that again. Inhale, belly down, gaze up. X around the spine, chin to chest. Bring it to a neutral tabletop position. Walk the hands forward about six inches to a foot, and then let those hips just sink and melt. Nice work. Right hip goes down, look over your left shoulder. Let's take it center. Left hip down, look over right shoulder. Inhale, center. And exhale, we are done. 10 minute abs, hitting the front of the abs, little obliques. Nice work today, y'all. You rock, have a wonderful rest of the day.